Hi guys, in this video we're making some of Malini's famous meatballs and she makes just the best chicken meatballs I've ever had. So we're going to share that recipe with you guys today. But before we start, we're going to season this. We're going to season it with some green seasoning. And we just decided we have enough ingredients so we're going to make some fresh. So as you can see here, we have some uh, pimentos. A lot of pimentos, hot peppers, mm -hmm. lots of garlic. Yep and a lot of vendania. So we're gonna make it nice. and freeze some for future recipes and make some fresh for the meatballs. That sounds good to me. Ooh. We got our stuff in here for the first batch. You can kind of average your peppers and stuff like that. And we're gonna top it off with a little bit of water just to get it blending. And there you have it guys, simple green seasoning right there. You can freeze this and it'll last for a long time. All right, let's show you guys how to make these ground chicken meatballs. We are using chicken thighs if you're, in, if you're curious. We got the green seasoning in there so far. And this is about a pound of chicken here. Next we're going in with some organic oregano. About two teaspoons. All right. About one teaspoon, actually. Whatever you think is best. You made this last time and it came out amazing. And I want it the same exact way. So. What we got here? Some onion powder. Some onion powder. Garlic powder. And we're just putting like a teaspoon of each mm -hmm. in the mix. Half a teaspoon of salt. Beautiful. Oh, here's a different one. What is this? I'm going to use like some chili flakes. Oh, ah, just chili flakes, huh? Interesting. Let me see what that, that is. Whole Foods organic chili flakes. Very nice. Mm -hmm. and here's another one you don't typically see. You can use any type of pepper, cayenne. Uh, even paprika, but mm. I'm using some smoked red jalapenos. Okay, that sounds good. Wow. All right. So is that all our seasoning or... We have to add anything else. Uh, that's it for the seasoning part. Great. Can I mix it all up? I'm going to set the oven to 400. 400. Which all right. Preheat. Preheat the oven to 400. All right, next guys, we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna take about. Um, I'm gonna take about two cups of spinach. All right. I'm gonna crush it. Just spinach. That's it. Yep. Okay. We got our spinach. I'm adding a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil. Okay. One tablespoon. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. Or tomato paste, sure. A dash of Worcestershire. Yes. Worcestershire. Let's just call it W sauce. Some coconut amino. Soy sauce. This is alternative soy sauce. Let me see the bottle. Coco Aminos. All right, but you know, you can use soy sauce if you want to. I'm gonna mix it up. Mm, that looks so good, I can use it just like that. Yes. <laughs> just kidding. You guys can also make this for appetizers for a party. Just make it like smaller size. Mm -hmm. You're like 
bite size. A lot of things you can do with these. You can even make some uh, some chicken burgers with this mix. Why not? So we're you can use a real egg for this uh, recipe, but in this today we're going to use a flax egg. Because we don't is, have any eggs right now. Which is one tablespoon of ground flax seed. To three with, tablespoons of water. Yeah. So. And then and incorporate it. A nice egg alternative if you don't have eggs, guys. So you can use a half a cup of any breadcrumbs at home, but because I'm trying to make this gluten-free for Kish, I'm just going to use a quarter, a roughly a quarter cup of oat flour in the mix. Nice. To bind it. Perfect. No, it's starting to stick together. Look at that. All right, this is a great meal prep idea to make for the week to have it. So easy to do. And you can also freeze them. And, uh, you know, just have it whenever. You can, uh, you can add like a third cup of Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. But in this case, since Kish is dairy-free, we're going to add some vegan dairy-free um, cheese, middle cashew milk. Yep, there's a lot of vegan cheeses out there, guys. So, uh, you know, choose your favorite. I'm gonna try to smush it as fine as I can. Beautiful. Those are gonna, some of those are just gonna melt into each meat ball. I'm just giving it a little hint of that. Yeah. You can add a lot more cheese if you want, but we're not gonna put a lot in this recipe. Now I'm gonna add in my two cups of chopped spinach. Give it some greenery. The first time I made this for Kish was when he was uh, working in office a lot more. And he came home one day and we just bought this house. Remember? Mm -hmm. You remember? Yeah. And you're like, what did you make? And then... You all surprised me with some great dishes. And this is one of them, so I want to share this recipe with you guys because... And he still loves it till, t um, till today. Yeah, I want everybody to enjoy this recipe. So you want to take a fork and just incorporate it into the mixture. A fork? just to graze it through, you know? Mm. Because the fork has, it's, it has little spikes. Yeah. So it puts it in between the meat versus uh, a spoon. I see, okay. You want it to really be in there, you know? True, true. So I'm just gonna make a small little sauce. Mm -hmm on top of the meatballs after I roll them. Okay. And this is a trick to keep your meatballs really moist. Wow. So it doesn't dry out. This is my first time seeing this as well. So what is that, like a tablespoon of, of each? Of each, yeah. That's it? Yep. All right, guys. We got our uh, baking sheet here. So you just put a little bit of olive oil on the parchment paper to prevent it from the sticking. And uh, now Melanie's gonna show you guys how to roll a couple meatballs. So let's see. Okay, now we're just gonna take a little bit. All right. About a tablespoon mm -hmm. for a meatball. Just kind of toss it back and forth. Like playing catch with yourself. <laughs> Nice. That's a nice size. Yeah. All right. What about the uh, the sauce? Yep, we add that after. Oh, after. Okay, okay. All right. Let's see how you roll one more. Cause you know, we're gonna be here all day. You're not. <laughs> and snacks. Yeah. 
So we're gonna we're gonna show you guys a little trick, okay? How to how to roll meatballs faster. Up two, and now just snap your fingers, and bam, guys, and that's how you do it. So try that snapping technique at home, and the meatballs will make themselves. All right. So now that we got all the meatballs made, what's next? We're gonna just try to paste this roughly mm -hmm. on top of each um, meatball. And this makes it more moist, right? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it gives like a, a nice little tomato exterior. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Wow. You spread that really nicely. You are such a great cook. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You cook with love, and I, and I just feel, I just taste that in every bite. Aww, you're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're just gonna paste this on all the balls, and we'll be right, <laughs> we'll be right back. We got all our balls ready to go. Check it out. Get a close up of that. We're gonna put it in the 400 degree oven now for 25 minutes. Beautiful. 25 minutes, and we can see the meatballs are looking done. So let's take it out. This is what I call perfection, guys. Beautiful. So we're gonna take out our food now. So with these meatballs, you can eat it any way you want, but typically I like to eat with pasta. And this is a gluten-free pasta right here. So I got some nice pasta here. And now, as you can see, we had baked it, but we threw it into a, a tomato basil pasta sauce, but you can use any pasta sauce of your choice if you want to eat it this way. Let's get this. Wow, these look delicious. Let me get a little bit more sauce. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna add some pepper sauce on top of this and let's do our taste test. Time to finally eat. Um, before I dig in, I just wanna give a special shout out to a couple YouTubers, uh, B and Rocky and uh, Trini Yorker. They have some really good stuff on our channel, so be sure to check them out. And uh, they're both really genuine YouTubers, which I really appreciate. So shout out to you guys. So let's dig in. I'm gonna go straight into this meatball here. Wow, it cuts very nicely. Wow, look inside of this. You can see some of that, that vegan cheese we put in there. Amazing. Oh my God. It melts in your mouth. Guys, yeah, check, out, check out this meatball here, for example, right? Beautiful. Wow, look inside of that. Doesn't get any better than that. Stay tuned for more videos.